talking with Montana Attorney General Tim Fox. Now, Tim, I know that there's uh, quite a bit of, of effort uh, uh, throughout the nation and specifically here in Montana uh, about uh, trying to support anti-human trafficking legislation in Congress. What can you tell us about that? Well, sure, uh, Peter, as many of your listeners might know, that's been uh, a priority of my office is to try to crack down on human trafficking. Uh, much of it, of course, is sex trafficking. A lot of that is uh, trafficking of minors, but there's also labor trafficking. It's a worldwide problem. Montana's not immune to it. Uh, Representative Kimberly Dudick is carrying a Senate, or excuse me, House Bill 89 in the legislature for my office this year to really strengthen our human trafficking laws. But we need a, a, a national uh, referendum on this issue, and there's currently a bill in front of the United States Senate called the Justice for Victims of Trafficking Act that uh, I've been encouraging not only our congressional delegation from Montana, but all United States senators to vote for. It has important provisions in it that crack down on uh, criminals who traffic uh, people uh, in what we have called a modern-day version of slavery. Uh, it provides for funding for anti-trafficking uh, purposes that can go out to law enforcement uh, and the revenues generated from the fines uh, of convicted criminals is what's used to uh, fund those programs. Uh, it's something that's very important to all of our nation and certainly important to Montana, and it really dovetails with what we're doing at the Montana Department of Justice to fight human trafficking. One would think that uh, you, you would have lots of support from your fellow attorneys general across the country. You know, I think that's true. Um, you know, a lot of uh, states with uh, larger populations have gotten kind of a jump on this issue and unfortunately it's because there are just so many people trafficked and so much crime, uh, crime going on but as I said Montana's not immune to this and uh, we have done a number of things uh, in the last couple of years in our office with some public-private partnerships with like the Seroptimists of Whitefish and Town Pump Corporation and uh, a number of uh, other uh, uh, public-private partnerships. We've put out uh, posters with a human trafficking hotline that people can use. Uh, we've redoubled our efforts in teaching law enforcement officers at the Montana Law Enforcement Academy on what to look for in human trafficking. And we're supporting a number of different programs uh, that uh, help victims of, of human trafficking get out of what they call the life and have productive and normal lives. And the first part of that is to treat them as victims. Many of them are minors or were uh, uh, trafficked into this uh, crime uh, as minors, and so we need a mindset change. So uh, we support, uh, my office supports uh, the Justice for Victims of Trafficking Act. Uh, I know that the cloture vote, they, the vote that the Senate took today to uh, decide whether to close the debate was unsuccessful. Uh, Senator Daines voted uh, for cloture so that we can get a vote and get this act passed, and Senator Tester voted against that. So um, I'm hoping that uh, they can get the votes necessary to move on and, and get this legislation enacted.